first step is to remove the old blade. Begin by unplugging the saw. Make certain to wear gloves and eye protection. Raise the head assembly until the blade clears the back of the table. And close the hydraulic valve to lock the head into position. Open the door of the drive wheel housing. Before removing the old blade, pivot the chip brush to the horizontal position and lock it into place. Loosen the blade tension by turning the T handle on the front of the head assembly counterclockwise. Open the door of the idler wheel housing. Pull the blade out of the guide bearings. Remove the old blade. Brush any chips from the guide bearings and housings. Wipe bearing surfaces clean and check that all bearings are moving freely. Your new blade will come with a tag on it and a tie to keep it coiled. The blade is under tension and care should be taken when uncoiling it. Make absolutely sure you're wearing eye protection and gloves. Hold the blade so the teeth point away from you. Remove the tag and ties. Grasp the blade firmly where it crosses over itself like an X. Then let it uncoil slowly. Place the blade over the idler and drive wheels with the smooth end of the blade toward the housing and the teeth pointing toward you. The tips of the teeth on the bottom row of teeth should be pointing toward the motor end of the saw. You can easily check the direction of the teeth by comparing the top of the blade with the decal on top of the saw head. Sometimes when you uncoil a new blade, you'll notice that the teeth are going the wrong way for your saw. Put on eye protection and gloves and hold the blade in front of you with the teeth pointing toward you. Turn the blade inside out by simply flipping the teeth away from you. Turn the T-handle clockwise to tighten the blade until it's pulled in a straight line across the top of the housing. Grasp the blade on each side of one of the guides and push down on the teeth edge with your thumbs. Curl the top of the blade toward you and across the bearings until you hear the click of the blade seating itself in between the bearings. Do the same with the other guide. Once the blade is seated in the bearings, turn the T-handle clockwise one 360 degree turn. You can use the casting number on the tension handle for a reference point. Plug the saw back in, switch it on, and let it run for a few seconds. Turn it off and give the T-handle another 360 degree turn. Setting the proper tension on the blade is critical to the life of the blade and the quality of the cut. To make certain the saw is tracking correctly, check where the blade is running over the wheel. On a one inch blade, you should be able to see about one eighth inch of blade sticking out over the wheel. If the blade is tracking properly, the back of the blade and the back edge of the wheel should be flush. Once the blade is installed, loosen the chip brush and bring it back down to the blade. Finally, close the housing doors. New blades must be broken in properly before using. To break in your new blade, run it at the recommended speed, but only at one-third of normal feed for 10 minutes. Then gradually increase the feed back to normal using the hydraulic cylinder. This will increase the life of your new blade and make it work more efficiently. We've already discussed breaking in new blades and making certain the blade tension is set correctly. These are both critical. Other areas to check are the bearings and the head pressure. You should check the wear and adjustment of your guide bearings every time you change blades. The guide bearings must be set to one thousandth of an inch wider than the thickness of the blade you're using. The most accurate way to determine this is by using a feeler gauge set to the thickness of the blade plus one thousandth of an inch. If you're not able to use a feeler gauge, you can look down the blade with enough light to determine if there's any space between the bearings and the blade. 
If you do see a gap, adjust the guide bearings until the gap disappears. You can tell if the bearings are too tight if there's scoring along the surface of the blade. A third way to check if the guides are adjusted properly is to grasp the blade between the guide and the housing and twist it. If the gap is adjusted correctly, there'll be no movement on the cutting portion of the blade. Repeat the procedure between the other guide and the housing on that side. There's a pressure bearing that rides on the top edge of the blade and holds the blade down on the work during cutting. Check to see if it's broken and needs to be replaced. In order to check that the bearings are wearing evenly, take a straight edge and hold it against the side of the bearing. It should sit flush. If there's a gap at the top or the bottom, the bearing needs to be replaced. The head pressure should be checked periodically. This is done with the aid of a pull-type scale, commonly called a fisherman's scale. With the hydraulic valve open, hook the scale onto the saw head handle and raise the blade about one inch off the cutting table. Then bring the saw head down while reading the scale. The saw should weigh no more than eight pounds over that last inch of travel. If the weight on the scale is more than eight pounds, it means the compensating springs must be adjusted. The adjustment for the springs is under the pulley box on the back of the saw head. Simply turn the head weight adjustment knob clockwise and recheck the weight of the saw head until it reads eight pounds. There's a large section of teeth gone on my blade. What happened? While this can be caused by hard spots in the material, it's often caused by improper head weight or too many teeth in the work. You should never have more than 24 teeth in the work or less than three. Six to 12 is optimum. Why are there cracks forming on my blade? This is called blade fatigue and is caused by improper blade tension, improper head weight, or the guide arms are set too far apart. My blade appears to be dull and has quit cutting. What's wrong? You may have hit some hard spots in your material, or you were using the saw at too fast a speed. <laughs>